Welcome back to Muffy Malone Brewing, where today we're going to expand on using our wild yeast culture and try and make a beer that I'm going to say is inspired by a Saison, but we won't call it that because we will be using a wild yeast culture. So to get that beer today, we're going to use some Pilsner malt, some Vienna malt and some flaked wheat. Uh, for hops, we will be using Halotau and Citra. And I'm also going to use some kaffir lime leaves and some lemon zest in the beer just because I've really been enjoying beers with citrus in them lately. So hoping with some warmer weather coming up, that will be a really good beer to drink. So let's get brewing. For this beer, I'm mashing in at 65 degrees Celsius. It's really important that you add your grain slowly, giving it a stir each time to prevent stuck mash. So, while we're mashing away, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I achieved a yeast culture that, with a sourdough starter that's good for brewing beers. So, what I have here is my sourdough starter. So, this basically is just flour and water that's been allowed to ferment naturally. And I just feed that every once in a while and use it for making breads and whatever else you like to use a sourdough starters for. So what I have here is my yeast culture that I use for beers. So because most people, when they just use sourdough starter in their beer, they've had some not very good results from it. The way that I built my yeast culture was I added the sourdough starter to a pretty simple wort of just some pale ale extract. Um, I think my gravity at the time was about 1038 and just let that beer ferment until it stopped. And then what I did was I didn't actually use that beer for drinking. I harvested the yeast from that beer and then that actually became the start of my culture. And this beer will actually be my fourth time around on using this culture. And every time I get it started again with just a little bit of dry malt extract, um, and a bit of water, it really seems to react well and come back to life. And generally speaking, I've got about an 80% attenuation rate with it, which is really good in my opinion. So that's a little bit about how I get my yeast culture started for my beer. Once at the boil, four grams of Halotel hops are added for 60 minutes. After 30 minutes, our second addition of Halotel is added. With 10 minutes left in the boil, sugar is added along with kaffir lime leaf and lemon zest to offer the beer some good aroma and flavor. Once cooled, the wort can be transferred into the fermenter Using this method is a really great way to aerate your wort before pitching your yeast. It's also a good opportunity to take a gravity sample. Finally, our yeast culture is pitched. And here we have it. The wild fermented kaffir lime and lemon saison. Um, this beer came out with a final gravity of 1010 for 5.4%. Um, in terms of the appearance of this beer, it is stunning. I really love it. Um, I'm also really happy because it's quite clear, which is something that if you've seen one of my other videos where I used raspberry, um, it just didn't really clear up even with a bit of age on it. So um, to see some clearing in it is really awesome. I also um, conditioned this in a bottle as well, which could have made a big difference. So 
it's like super fizzy. I don't know if you can see it in there, but I uh, really like that. I do like my beers quite fizzy, so um, that's awesome. In terms of the aroma, it really does smell like a Saison, even though I didn't use a Saison yeast. Um, you could pretty much pass this over as having that sort of Saison smell to it, which I do really like. Um, I think the recipe was really good. So, um, but yeah, let's have a taste. So in terms of the flavor, once again, has all the right characteristics that you would want in a good Saison. Um, it's quite dry. It's got those sort of, um, what I'm gonna call earthy sort of notes to it that you'd find in a Saison. The lemon and the lime aren't overpowering. They're, they're right there and they offer a little bit of complexity to the beer, but I wouldn't say that they are really apparent. So the, yeah, it's really crisp and really clean, which I really like. So yeah, I'm gonna call that one a win. I think that's a great beer. Uh, definitely keen to brew it again. And we will see you at the next video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll make some great beers in the future. Cheers.